It's always a privilege to be in the house of the Lord and uh, we've been given another privilege to celebrate yet another 25th of December. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Shall we just be upstanding on our feet as we praise and thank our God for his goodness and his mercy. The Bible says that his goodness endures forever. Season in, season out, he's always been good. He never ceases to be God. That is what amazes me about our God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord God, for this Christmas day that you've given to us. We thank you, Lord God, that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary, that we may be saved today. Salvation wouldn't have come upon man if Christ never died. And we thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sake. Lord, we pray that you be with us, that you begin with us in this Christmas service. We pray that you alone, mighty God, do what you're here to do, Lord. As we worship you, the, we, we believe that if our praises go up, your praises comes down, Lord, and you begin to touch people's lives. We thank you, Lord, even for the families that have not made it to this place, Lord, due to various challenges. We commit them in your hands, God. We pray that wherever they are in their homes, those who have traveled, Lord, we pray for them as well, that you keep on safeguarding them. Keep them, oh Lord. We pray that you keep the house of prayer family, Lord, that you keep on showing favor, that you keep on showing grace upon this wonderful and graceful family. We pray, mighty God, that may you cause us to see more days to come, that we may celebrate one another, that we may celebrate you in Jesus' name. And every believer agree with this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, 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 oh,
buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my savior lives because because he lives i can face tomorrow because he
Presence, Lord. 
is Lord. All I want is to be. There's nothing like. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. Oh, 
Yes, Lord, this morning we lift you away. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, this morning our hearts are full of thanksgiving. <laughs> Father, we want to say thank you. 2021 years ago, you sent your only begotten son to this world so that we can be here and say thank you dad for your eternal love while we were still sinners oh god you loved us you decided to send your son hallelujah as we remember the historic incident of the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ that is why your oh god we are alive if jesus was not born on earth and he has not chosen us we would some of us would have been a history hallelujah not only on this world, oh God, even giving us the privilege to be called your precious children, oh God. Your eternal life, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for this season, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege in the land of the living to remember, to appreciate, and to thank you as the children of God together, corporately come together on the 25th of December in the sanctuary to worship you as we remember you, oh God. Father, we commit to the entire house of prayer family this morning. We know, God, many of our dear ones have traveled. Some may be traveling. Some are preparing to travel. To go to their dear one's place. To their family, friends, to have a wonderful time of fellowship and reunion of the family to remember and appreciate what God has done. Even some of them may extend their stay up to the new year. We pray wherever they are, your grace and protection be upon them. Especially, your oh God, this COVID-19 pandemic is searching our prayer, oh God. Your people are insulated with the blood of Jesus. No one, oh God, will be touched by this. This morning, as we are here, fill us with the joy, peace, and the grace you brought into this world, O oh God. Even the ministry of the word encourages us, O oh God. We commit the end of service in the hand of Jesus, including this territory. Bless, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. And that is his. If you truly believe, can we put our hands together and appreciate to God by giving a wonderful and blessed clap offering. Amen. Let me take on behalf of the elders and deacons of the house of prayer and the pastor and family. Wish you a blessed and merry Christmas to everyone. Amen. I don't know, so COVID is around. I don't want any you to go and shake anybody's hand. At least you can turn around to sit wherever, stretch your neck, greet somebody and say, my brother, my sister, Merry Christmas to you. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas to you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to see you all this beautiful Saturday morning on the 25th of December 2021. Hallelujah. If Jesus was not born, some of us, many of us would have been not here. All of us would have been not here. And thank God for the coming of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we all celebrate a different way, but we are thankful to God for this privilege to be in the sanctuary. Amen. Oh, so once again, let me take this wonderful opportunity to welcome you all to this house of prayer. Uh, Christmas service. May the Lord bless you because uh, even today the government has strictly spoke to the, through the newspaper. We must be strict in uh, uh, observing time concerning the service. It's not for the government, it's for our safety. 
it is for so but let me encourage you beloved if you are traveling make sure be careful try to avoid all unnecessary visits and crowded places uh, it is real it is real amen the lord bless you i pray and we as a pastor and family we are praying for you none of us will be infected because we are under the blood of jesus the power of the holy spirit the word of god say the seal of the holy spirit is on our body and may the lord protect you amen hallelujah and may the lord bless you and also an announcement tomorrow we have our service at nine o'clock as we know it's when our service make sure you are here and during this christmas uh, there is a one announcement uh, it is a bereavement announcement i am sure many of you some of our old church members then heard i have been posted deliberately one of our church member i am sure all the previous members we know mr and mrs bobby william they were here very committed with the two wonderful daughters but they moved to moved back to india a few years back unfortunately this week uh, mrs ross william went to be with the lord she was not well so please come uh, continue to uphold the family back in india there have been a good family here. We fellowshiped with them. May the Lord comfort Mr. Bobby and the two wonderful children, um, daughters, actually, two daughters, Kushi and Leah. May the Lord bless them. We continue to uphold them. Amen. And so tomorrow we have our service. May the Lord bless you. Very quickly, we will go to the Word of God. Uh, and the tithe and offering we will take at the end of the service. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, we are celebrating. Why are you sad? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the time to celebrate. This is the time to rejoice. Hallelujah. Let's that uh, all downcasted face must be removed. May the joy of the Lord be filled in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning devotion, this morning taken from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, very well known scripture. Read during the time of Christmas, which is one of the prophetic words concerning the birth of Jesus before even he was born. Before he was born. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 1 to 7. You know, we won't be able to look into a uh, portion of the scripture, but for the sake of context, we will read uh, uh, Isaiah 9, verses 1 to 7. Then a few minutes, we will highlight what the Lord wanted to speak to us. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1 to 7, read. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee of the Gentiles by the way of the sea along the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of the death, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nations, nation and increased the joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice in the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing the plunder for us in the day of Midian's defeat. How you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bars across their shoulders, the roar of their oppressors. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood. We will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. Will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. Verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increasing of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from the time and on forever. 
the zeal of Lord Almighty will accomplish this. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen and amen. Are we excited for this December 25th? Are we excited? Hallelujah. Amen. If you are not excited to remember the birth of Jesus, just lift your hand. Hallelujah. We all are excited, except me. Hallelujah. Yes, it's a great joy. You know, because of the time, uh, just a few minutes to encourage a Christmas message. The message is titled, Hope in the Darkest Hour. Hope in the Darkest Hour. The time we live in 2021, about to finish, even not only this year, even last year, past two years, we have seen very evident sign which is happening around the world concerning the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The prophecy which we read, John, uh, Isaiah chapter 9, is one of the prophecies, early prophecies, that prophesied about the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The birth of Jesus Christ. While on we are, this time, this season, we are remembering that birth of Jesus, we are also into a season of another prominent signs and the fulfillment of the prophecies concerning the second coming of Jesus Christ. So we have two reasons to celebrate. One, we are here testifying, uh, endorsing, and appreciating the fulfillment of this prophecy. At the same time, we are also excited that another prophecy concerning his second coming is almost imminent. Beloved church, as we remember this Christmas, let not be worried, let not be distressed, full of fear. We know we are at the last hour of the end time. Hallelujah. So we, up Isaiah chapter 9. If you look back to one chapter behind uh, for, for us to understand in context, Isaiah chapter 8 gives the historic proof of prophetic declaration on Assyrian kingdom is going to invade Judah. And if you uh, then, after explaining with the prophetic word and the invasion of the Assyrian kingdom will not be very pleasant. If you read chapter 8 verse 22, the last part of the Isaiah chapter 8 verse 22 says, then they will look towards the earth and see only distress and darkness and fearful gloom and they will be thrust into utter darkness. It shows the consequences of Assyrian invasion in the land of Judah, how severe it is. When this came, people were under the fear of gloom and darkness and the fear of the consequences. Chapter 9, uh, prophet Isaiah gives uh, another horror of hope in the midst of the uh, darkest ever say, beloved children of God, hallelujah, especially nation of Judah, specifically to the northern parts of the you know, Judah kingdom and two specific tribe, Zebuland of Zebulun and Naphtali, they are saying, of course, the inversion will be so horrible, but there is a ray of hope, hallelujah. That is a message this time we have in the Christian we look around, people are worried. Church activities, all other normal activities are suspended. People cannot come. We don't know even 2022 how it is going to look like, how this another new wave is coming or not. But one thing I want you to know, in spite of all this gloomy, darkest hour, there is a hope, ray of hope. Hallelujah. Ray of hope, hallelujah. Then we look down the northern tribes, especially the Naphtali 
and Zebulun were the hardest and the earliest victim, hardest hit and the earliest uh, victim of experiencing Assyrian inversion and the destruction. That is why if you look at the Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, let's turn to there for a minute, Gospel of Matthew chapter 4, verse 13 to 16. Uh, actually, the um, uh, Matthew is quoting from Isaiah chapter 9. It says in chapter 4, verse 13, 12, one word. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he returned to Galilee, leaving Nazareth he went to live in Capernaum, which was by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali to fulfill what was said in the prophet Isaiah, land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea along the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentile. The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those who are living in the land of the shadow of the death, a light has dawned. From that time on Jesus, began to preach repent for the kingdom of heaven is near hallelujah so Jesus began his ministry in the land of Zebulun and Naphtali as a prophetic fulfillment of what prophet Isaiah prophesied hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus. That gives us a hope again. What is a hope? You and I may be hit hard by kind of Assyrian invasion in the form of sickness, form of sin, form of affliction, pandemic, epidemic, financial, economical, social, relational crisis. You may be the first victim. You may be wondering why I am alone. But there is a whole ray of hope. What is the law? If you are a child of God, if you are a promised child of God, if you belong to the family of God, the first deliverance begins from your life. Hallelujah. Jesus will not go into another part until he has to finish Naphtali and Zebulun because they were promised people. People were belongs to the family of God. One hundred people, the enemy destroyed of that time. God used Assyrian as a stick to discipline the people of Israel, but when they misbehaved, the Lord said, I am visiting. May this Christmas be a God's visitation upon your life. Hallelujah. So when, when the hope in the darkest hour as we celebrate the Christmas, next 10 minutes, I am done. I just wanted to highlight uh, five levels of hope I will just highlight, you can meditate when you go. And God is releasing to us as a house of prayer family, as an individual during this Christmas, five areas of hope. One, hope of transformation. Hallelujah. Hope of transformation. Chapter 9, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1. Say, Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the future, he will honor Galilee of the Gentile by the way of the sea along the Jordan. Hope of transformation. Let me speak as a pastor, as a priest, as a prophet. During this Christmas day on the 25th of December, as world and as remember the birth of Jesus, we are not worried about the date or month. We are only here to just know our Lord was born. That's all. Don't, worry. Don't complicate our social media things. We are not there to worship the day or no. We are here to just thank God for, we know. We are that. I am the testimony on this earth. Jesus was born. Hallelujah. We are the testimony. Jesus was born. That is all about. Nothing else. Hallelujah. So what he says, there is a hope of transform. If Jesus was born for you and I, in this 2021 December, maybe all this year, you have been hit hard. Hallelujah. It has been most difficult year. Let me speak a hope 
hope, a ray of hope, a hope of transformation is coming into your life. What are the areas this uh, the prophet is saying here? He's talking three areas God is going to trans. One, no, uh, transformation from gloom. No more gloom. Gloom is a state of depression. Because in Assyrian inversion was so cruel. There's a deep economical depression. Social depression, spiritual depression, financial depression, relational. You are crushed in simple way from every dimension. 2021, maybe that kind of situation you go through. Maybe you went through, still going through. I have a good news, a hope of transformation Jesus has brought into this world. Second, not only more, more, more gloom than say, no more distress. Distress is uh, another level of depression. Distress is an extreme anxiety, sorrow, or pain. 2021 has been a year of pain for us, maybe some of you. Maybe you have lost your dear one. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe you lost your business. Maybe you couldn't achieve what you have been doing. Maybe God has blessed you. Still you have been struggling. Still there is a ray of hope. Hope of transformation. Prophet Isaiah prophesied when there was no ray of hope for the land of Judah but Jesus came and appointed time. If that is true, may the Lord come and visit you with the hope of transformation. Thirdly, no more intimidation. That's the word here he's using. Humility. That humility is not talking about a godly humility where you have been humble like the apostle Paul said in Philippians about the nature of the attitude of Jesus. He being humbled himself. This humility is talking about the intimidation. Intimidation is to make you timid or fearful. That means you are not able to execute exercise exercise and enjoy the activities and the blessing the Lord has given to you but you are under the pressure and the control of someone but the Lord says there's a hope of transformation is coming. Merry Christmas is all about a hope of transformation. Hallelujah. That's why gospel of Luke chapter 19 verse 10 he said for the son of man has can come, has come to seek, seek and save what was lost. Hallelujah. Jesus came to bring a transformation. What was the transformation? The man came to seek and save what was lost. As a result, in the uh, Isaiah 9 says, what is that? But in the future, he will honor Galilee of the Gentile by the way of the sea along the Judah. But when you and I go through this kind of situation, hope of transformation brings a honor from the Lord. I, that is why we read in Matthew chapter 4 in early verses 12 to 14, Jesus fulfilled that prophetic fulfillment of honoring the land of Zebulun and Naphtali, leaving the place, going into Capernaum, walking around the land of Galilee in the two tribe area territory, Zebulun and Naphtali, because you were intimidated. You were under severe distress. You under severe gloom. Here comes the ray of hope. Hallelujah. Hope of transformation. I prophetically declare as a prophet of Jesus from this altar whatever area you have been waiting for a transformation 2021 may this Christmas bring into your life in the name of Jesus. Secondly, not only hope of transformation. Secondly, hope of great light. Hallelujah. Hope in the darkest tower. Second hope. In this Christmas. Jesus brought hope of a great light. 
not a great hope of the great light. There is no light that he can compare. Hallelujah. Let's read uh, verse 2. Isaiah 9 says, The people walking in the darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of the dead, that we will come next. Hallelujah. Two essays. La people who walking in the darkness. Jesus said, in the gospel of John chapter 8, very well known verse, verse 12 says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. This light, to fulfill the Isaiah's prophecy, he has to leave the territory and step into the land of Zebulun and Naphtali. I pray. This year, now we have a five or six, five more, six more days to say bye-bye into 2021. As today is 25th, I pray within that this week, may the Lord step into your territory. Hallelujah. With a hope of the great light. As are you went through a season of darkness. Yes, if you look at all of us, and the world is confused. People, the superpower, when I am reading the news I'm even I stopped watching the news only when you hear the news in some areas of the countries every day this pandemic is increasing by 100,000 one over 100,000 plus people are under confusion I am sure even the scientists and they are also worried what to do what is the next level but one thing we know hallelujah these are the prophetic fulfillment the Messiah who came 20 21 years ago Oh, he is coming second time. This, uh, but we have a hope of great light. Beloved child, today you are here in the church. You are came here to worship the Lord. Do you have that great light? Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Thirdly, because of the time. Thirdly, not only a hope of transformation, not only hope of a great light, we have a hope of eternal security. Christmas is all about giving you hope of eternal security. Hallelujah. What is eternal security? Here the word of God says again in chapter 2, chapter 9, verse 2, second part. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Hallelujah. I think two years before, we would have not understood the valley of the shadow of the death until this COVID came to exist. I can go and sit two minutes next to Reverend Happy Chileshe. Reverend Happy Chileshe knows me. He will not say, Pastor, don't sit. But he may not know I am carrying a virus which can put him his and their family and the community in trouble. With this COVID has anyone can walk through the wall. Even 2021 as we are approaching, we are moving. But thank God for the hope of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hope of Jesus Christ. That's why John chapter 10 verse 10, very familiar scripture. John 10, 10 says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Hallelujah. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full this Christmas. It may not be Omicron, whatever variant of uh, Corona or any other valley of the shadow of the death we may have to go through. Beloved church, I have a good news. We have a God who says, I have come into this world to give you life. And not life short term, full and abundant. I pray that be the portion of house of prayer congregation. May you live full, even in the time of season a pandemic, we will live an abundant and full life because we have Jesus. We have Jesus. Fourthly, hope in the darkest hour, hope of transformation, hope of the great light, hope of eternal security. Fourth, hope of a divine enlargement, hope of 
divine enlargement hallelujah divine enlargement let's read it next verse verse 3 chapter 9 of isaiah you have enlarged the nation and increased their joy they rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest as men rejoice when dividing the plunder and the words fall down he was talking about we will come back to the next point a divine enlargement hallelujah enlargement is a simple word is making you bigger hallelujah look at your neighbor and say this christmas i am going to be big hallelujah aha uh -huh. hallelujah hallelujah so you may break the chairs hand rest also it is all about a uh, grow making you bigger in size in capacity in territory in every area hallelujah is yes, my question 2021 made you small 2021 has pissed you out 2021 drained your resources 2021 did you sh shed tears? You cried. Hallelujah. There is a prophetic fulfillment is coming through Isaiah chapter 9. Say, I will. There's a hope of divine enlargement. Hallelujah. Ha. Thank you, Lord. If you read Psalm 115, 115, Psalm 115, verse 14 and 15 say, May the Lord make you increase. Then says, both you and your children. Then the verse 15 says, may you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of the heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. May you, may the Lord make you increase. May the Lord increase you, enlarge you. Christmas is all about enlargement. And the biggest enlargement in this pandemic season, as the children of God, our responsibility, devil wanted to squeeze the kingdom of God. You and I have to enlarge the kingdom of God. This pandemic should not stop you sharing the gospel. Hallelujah. Let's preach with confidence. Let's preach with hope. If Jesus came, hallelujah. When Jesus came, the king tried to finish him. Hallelujah. From the time church was born, the seed, the word of the seed of the church was multiplied rapidly by the seed of the blood of the martyrs. The more the devil tried to crush the church, the Lord enlarged it. Hallelujah. I pray even in this COVID season, may you and I be a vessel, hallelujah, to make the church, the kingdom of God, to enlarge. As we enlarge, God enlarges the kingdom. Other aspect, as the word Jesus himself said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Oh, these things shall be added unto us. I pray in this Christmas, we will make, that's why we celebrate Christmas differently. We celebrate Christmas differently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think I, when I was reading the newspaper in the morning, I think our president stated in a very, a very excellent way, how do you celebrate Christmas? It is all not all about you show up. It is all about how you show the love of Jesus Christ. Let this Christmas 2021 Christmas, you and I be a child of God to show the love of Jesus. The purpose, lastly, hope of perfect joy. Hallelujah. We have done hope of perfect joy. Hallelujah. And we read verse 3 and 4. Second part of verse 3, second part of India, chapter 9, verse 4, Isaiah. That joy is talking about when Gideon defeated the Midianites and got the harvest and plunder, there was a great joy. Hallelujah. I, that is the joy God is bringing back to the family of house of prayer during the Christmas. Jesus came so that what the devil has stolen, we can get it back. Hallelujah. In 2020, what the devil has stolen you? Has he stolen your dear ones? Has he stolen your uh, family, your health, your wealth, your ministry, your spiritual 
your life, your finance, your job, your business, whatever he is stolen. Today the Lord said, God is releasing a hope of perfect joy. We are going to step into 2022. If the second coming of Jesus is uh, delayed and he allows with the perfect eternal joy. That's why John chapter 15 verse 11. Gospel of John chapter 15 verse 11. Jesus said, I have told you this. What did he say? So that my joy may be in you. It is not the joy of Mary. It is not the joy of celebration. It is the joy of Jesus. Then he said, and that your joy may be complete. A joy that is complete is the joy of the Lord. That's why we sing joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. This Christmas, as I conclude, are you moved throughout this year in the darkest hours of life? Christmas says, this year, there is a hope for us in the darkest hour. What is a hope? Hallelujah. Hope of transformation. Even this COVID, God will transform it. Hallelujah. I want the church to believe God will transform the COVID into a blessing to the kingdom of God. Then, a hope of a great light. Hallelujah. There is no light. Jesus said, I am the light. May you shine. May your neighbor, may your family, may your friends, may your people, may the people whom you rely, relate and interact, may know this person carry the great light. Hallelujah. Thirdly, hope of a, an eternal security. Are you under fear? Maybe you have no place to put your feet. You don't know how tomorrow will be. You have no idea how you are going to step into 2022. How I am going to provide. How I am going to survive. How I am going to live. Hallelujah. No one can throw you out from the eternal security of the Lord if you belong to him. Assyrian kingdom, Babylonian kingdom, Merdia Persian kingdom, Romans kingdom, even the century existing kingdoms around the world tried to finish the kingdom of God as the body of Jesus Christ. But the church is growing stronger and stronger and stronger. If that is true, the Lord says to you in this Christmas, may the Lord release a divine security upon you. Then, fourthly, a hope of divine enlargement. Hallelujah. Maybe we are squeezed. Every aspect, as Apostle Paul said, you are uh, squeezed from four corners, but you are not crushed. The reason the Holy Spirit is in you. Hallelujah. The Jesus who came to this world 2021 years ago, who born in a manger, who lived on the earth, walked through the land of Naphtali and Zebulun and Ente, Judah. He has not finished there. He sits at the right hand of the Father and he said, I am coming the way. He said, I am. He First coming was fulfilled. His second coming is near. Beloved church, fourthly, a hope of perfect joy. May you have the joy of the Lord upon you. Not in spite of everything you've gone through, may the joy of the Lord be your portion. Hallelujah. May God increase you. May the Lord expand you. May the Lord en enlarge you in size and everything. Because why we can say, for us to a child is born. To us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulder and he will be called a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. That is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Close our eyes wherever you are. Father, I thank you. Father, I give you glory. Father, we magnify you. Lord, thank you for all the grace you have given to us. Thank you, Lord, for this Christmas. Thank you, Lord, for the hope in the midst of darkest hour. Yes, Lord, we live in this toughest moment. We pray God's continuous presence be upon us. May this Christmas bring the real salvation into our life. As your people go from this house, the sanctuary, to their respective places, may you watch over them, especially in this 
time of pandemic may you protect them they will carry the hope in the lord in jesus name amen and amen and amen may the lord bless you richly may the lord bless you richly at this moment we take the tithe and offering please if you have come with the tithe and offering you have an opportunity to give christmas is all about the father gave us the best gift hallelujah that is his only son if this morning as we are here let's uh, if you have come with the tithe and offering you have an offer shares please any of that shares before you prepare let me pray father we thank you thank you lord for the perfect and uh, sacrificial gift you blessed us is his only son to send to this world for us as we remember his birth and celebrate father thank you for the opportunity you blessed us to give you back what you have blessed us lord bless us if during this christmas as we are giving our tithe and offering and a thanksgiving lord if anyone among us has nothing to give lord jesus you came to increase enlarge our territory may you bless the uh, resources may you open more blessings upon the moga and every single coin will be used for you, the expansion of your kingdom in jesus name amen and amen thank you church may the us you as ushers are coming you can stand we once they are done the worship team you can come for the final song once the benediction is done may the lord bless you you all are please stand please stand thank you jesus once as shirts are passed you have dropped what god has given to you just close your eyes if god has given to you anything to give close your eyes and meditate lord lord i am expecting that divine hope hallelujah a hope hallelujah hope of transformation thank you jesus thank you holy spirit one of that shirts please pass by the pulpit please thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you lord just meditate on the word of god thank you holy spirit thank you jesus lord we worship you father we glorify you lord we magnify you a god you are awesome you are awesome you are awesome thank you jesus thank you for this christmas you have blessed us thank you lord for everything you have given to us in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord for the sacrificial giving of your people the tithe the offering the seed everything they have put lord may you honor the moga may you honor the may you reward the moga may you increase and multiply them thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you lord father we thank you thank you jesus for this day thank you lord for the service thank you lord for your presence upon us lord we are living here with a hope in the lord jesus christ lord my prayer this morning before your people go let them move out of the sanctuary with the high presence of the lord jesus christ lord we paralyze and that to wonder to steal the joy from the life of your people in this season we cancel it in the name of jesus in the form of sicknesses in the form of death in the form of accidents in the form of chaos or confusion division what we cancel it in the name of jesus i pray joy i pray unity i pray protection i pray love i pray god's abundant provision upon your people if it is your will tomorrow you will bring us together here at 9 o'clock to worship you in truth and spirit any of us expecting a miracle concerning their life today in the name of jesus before we live the hope of jesus will fulfill that miracle for the moga thank you holy spirit now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever amen and amen may god bless you richly have a wonderful time to celebrate the christmas with your family and the dear one see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock at church as you enjoy the final song from the worship team may the lord bless you
Christmas, the Lord of Lords is born. Come and sing, Happy Christmas, the Lord of Lords is born. Come and sing, come and sing, Happy Christmas, the Lord of Lords is born. Come and sing, come and sing, Happy Christmas. The Lord of Lords He is born Hallelujah 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 Say 